Hello everyone. How you guys doing? It's Ken at Lionel for Less. Coming back to you with, uh, I believe this is part four now in the rest F3 restoration series. Uh, it's been so hot and humid this week, I've had a hard time getting these painted. The, the frames and the side frames for the wheel sets of the F3s. Also, you see, did the pilots. And uh, here's what I'm using. I found out this is a new color by Rust Oleum. They just came out with it. 7715 aluminum. And it's a pretty good match for the, the Lionel Silver, which I've been fighting my whole life trying to find a match for the Lionel Silver. But, uh, you know, you really need to have the temperature be right or have the conditions under control when you do this. You know, the ideal thing would be to have a spray booth, but I mean, look at that. This is about four coats and primer. And finally getting the results we're looking for. As I said, you, I really don't like to put that many coats on, but uh, it flashed out on me because of the temperature the other day. And uh, I wound up going in and having the wet sand off what I did. Because the paint was literally drying as it as it hit the frame. Uh, we got some other stuff to do today. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna be stripping some stuff with this uh, clean strip premium stripper. Now, if you use this stuff, make sure, absolutely sure, that you wear a pair of these gloves because you'll get tore up and even after you do it you're gonna probably have to go and take a shower because it just you know parts get on you of it and somehow because it's atomized and it's spraying and it, it's 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 a heavy skin irritant you know but it does strip the shit out of those uh, bodies. Now at one point, a couple years ago, I was looking for like a chrome color. And I found this uh, floral paint and it, it looked great. Mm -hmm. But the only thing I couldn't, uh, I couldn't seal it up. So, I'm going to strip these back down and get this set back. It is not going to be the UPL. I hate this color. And I'm also working on an intermodal set that I'm making. This is all done out of just... Uh, plastic materials see there's one that primed up but you know intermodal sets are so expensive that I decided to make my own I'm just trying to get a quick shit a shot of primer there as I grabbed it I hit it with the can as I was going by, so we're going to have to sand that down. 
There's another one there. You know, these are processes. As you go along, it, it, it's kind of hard to do a set. It really is, but if you stick with it and don't let it beat you, you can do it. Now here I have some of the steps that are worn out and had rust on them. So I'll paint those a black. Although they're supposed to be blued steel. Dark, dark blued steel. And I found this paint for the Santa Fe bodies. It's the closest thing that I've seen to that Santa Fe silk. Because, you know, the silver on the frame and the silver on the body are two different things. Two different departments there. But these are drying up nice now. And like I said, for a rainy day, the temperature is probably down around 60. I'd rather have it not being raining. But, uh... What little bit of time that I do have, I've got the, the ladder there for that to repair it. i stupid glue it back together. And then next video, we can get into uh, cleaning the parts. And then put, finally, you know, reassembling. But these F3s will be completely restored. You know, it's taking me a while to remember some things. I used to restore a lot of sets. But uh, it's been uh, years now for me, so. And uh, with the economy going so good, and with everything going on with the QAnon and taking our country back over I mean and I drive truck for Coca-Cola and business is just so good I'm I'm working like crazy so I really don't have I haven't had much time to devote to my beloved hobby uh this is a set here that uh Remove this. I picked this up on eBay a couple years ago. And I've been told that it's a Keisner or something uh, kit set. You know, the bottoms are made from wood. They have details on them from the wood. And I've got these all cleaned up. Well, I just pulled them out of the box. And the tops are wet sanded down to where I can buff them back out. I'm unsure whether I'm going to... Uh, and they have several, several trim pieces to put back on. I'm unsure if I'm going to paint these another color or try to buff them out. I'm sure they would look spectacular if I buff them out, so that's probably what I'm going to do. I think it's a six, six car set. Oh yeah, I have to fabricate two doors for this, but you know, it won't be the first thing I've ever fabricated in my life. Oh. Uh, There's the observation car. It has the antenna on it. I mean, you know, we're getting down deep in the pile here of stuff that I own. and Just projects. That, yeah, this is, will be a six car set. There's five and number six. I have the Vista Dome that goes with that. It's a plastic, fragile, one-of-a-kind Vista Dome. And what I'll do on these insides is install interiors. And I'll buy some, some uh, seats and put some people in there. 
and they should look marvelous. Get them all lit up. Because I'm just not going to use the inserts. Yeah. I have all kind of these from when I used to sell trains. These are old from weaver sets. But I have hundreds of those still left. At one time, I, I really moved a lot of stuff. Uh, I had a guy buying, you know, I had a money man. And then I would uh, restore, get him running. Not necessarily restore everyone, but, you know, get a part for it. Get the, get the smoke unit smoking. Uh, redo the smoke element. That's another video I'll have coming up. I'll, I'll put on, you know, how to rebuild a smoke unit. Don't pardon my mess out here. Uh, that, that my wife is super happy with me right now with this, believe me. And uh, I've also got more 2500 series cars that I have to uh, find sand down and then buff them back out. I mean, I don't care how many scratches something has in it, I'll get them out. I want to show you guys these before pictures. So, then maybe the after, and you know, document it for myself too, because I, I've just done hundreds and hundreds of these cars. But I can take a car like this, that's scratched up and make it look gorgeous again. I mean, every car will take around five hours of labor but you know I pick these up sometimes for five dollars and you know the wheel sets are worth more than five dollars there's the observation car and the that's not so bad. This one's this one's a good example. Most people see those scratches and uh, they say, you know, no way. Okay, so believe it or not, in here I have the bottoms for the the intermodal set. That's where they'll join, and that's where the wheels will go on right there. I started on this set a couple years ago and just haven't been just haven't been after it, so I decided to get after it again. You can buy all these little detail parts. The catwalks, the air tanks, the lines. And you just measure them out and do it. It can be done, folks. And, you know, this is hobby in here. These, these took a lot of time to put together. I lost a step here. I have to put a new one back on. And uh, we'll take these out, get some primer shot on them, and hopefully tomorrow I'll get them uh, coated. I mean, I got the farthest with this one as far as ideas, even the chain. Running through there like that. Brake wheel. Stanchions. I'm just going to shoot everything. And 
then those go in there real nice and I'll have a five car set of those to end and you know maybe if I buy a set or two I'll have a nice intermodal thing going on here's how it'll go on uh, I see this here they'll connect like this that'll and so on and so on and those will take a turn real nice I've got the training room is really really in disarray right now uh, I have to clean up in here uh, as I've been doing a little bit on the projects when I get home I started to take this set apart because the they were just dirty inside and I'm cleaning them and I'm gonna reassemble them and get some of this uh, New York Central Gray and touch them up because that's all they need is a touch up here and there this one took a fall on me so that's why that happened when I first built the shelves uh, I was trying to adjust one of them and, and uh, the whole set fell and I had just got them and like I said uh, I'm glad that's all that happened but on these uh, phase you'll see these these spots I'll probably leave this and just paint this this spot here on this one uh, I got a Texas special B unit in it's pretty nice for its age it came out nice and yes that is a reflection you see in there I mean it's hard to find a B unit in that kind of shape from the 50s this ran me a hundred dollars with the bottom so and the Texas Special I have it could use some touch-ups or perhaps I'll buy a cleaner one I don't you know right now this will be good enough but I have all Ross track now I got Ross straights for the straightaways I have two tracks still running for when we actually want to just run and I need to cut the pieces for the of the Ross for the middle so now we have 88, 72, 64 <clears throat> what is that one 54 and then the the Super O inside which will probably get another uh, a loop I'm, I'm waiting on a switch for that I pick, picked up another MTH transformer so uh, my my buddy brought it over to me and said here I found this at a, an estate auction I figure you'd like it and uh, he wants me just to paint a couple rooms in his house for him because I used to be a professional painter before I started driving truck I picked it up when I was a musician so we're going to take these back outside and let them uh, finish drying <laughs> and then I'll set them up I'm going to bring these in finally and let them finish drying inside 
because like I said it's it's still too humid with the rain to get superior results I wish the lighting was better but I'll show you guys how they look inside but these are good enough now I usually don't like to put that many coats on but I had to like this now we're gonna live with that that's good enough and you see where I taped off the ladders and the battery covers you'll see that that stays nice you know you got to move that battery cover when you're out here spraying you know you let it dry and you come back out turn it around like that and then shoot the part that the battery cover covers up for lack of a better term uh, I've been spraying so I'm probably a little bit whoo -hoo. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that spray paint. Uh, but like I said, yeah, make sure you have a well-ventilated area. Especially if you get into any of the stripping. It'll tear you, uh, it'll eat you alive. And I found out that, that this, this clean strip from Walmart, it really, it'll tear, it'll tear layers off stuff it's strong it's not messing around so it's good to to do another video finally and uh, check in with everyone and I it's good to finally be getting on this intermodal set after so many years I started that thing three years ago actually started building it three years ago there's still some parts I gotta order some detail parts but I'm just gonna get a coat of paint on them uh, I think I'm gonna paint them like that dark yellow uh, where you see the DDTX on the inner models and then uh, I'll or paint these different colors uh, some of them will be evergreen some of them will be JB haunt and of course we will have that mask I don't really know how to M A R E S K <clears throat> I have one of those engines on the way also to pull this intermodal set So, this is step four in the F3 restoration series plus an update. <clears throat> I, I do have that 2035. I have all the parts and I have a 2065 in there that I had to go wash up. And I might as well wash this up too while I'm at it. Give everything on it because you know it's been in boxes and stuff it's got overspray on it right now and we'll have a couple more choo-choo's to run so that'll be cool I have a 2065 here yeah that'll get repainted I have to still tape that off as you see tape off the lettering and it doesn't get stripped off I'm gonna have to do a little better job I usually cover this right here up to the the window even and I, I have stamps too but uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do leave the original thing or put a stamp on these I'm not sure yet but now we can get outside and uh, get a coat of primer shot on this uh, intermodal set finally 
like I said, pardon my mess. Uh, I've been very, very extremely busy with work. Uh, beside work, I've I've taken a second job as well because I, I'm uh, I'm trying to buy a house, so and you need money to do that. And no one's sending me any, so looks like I gotta go get it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'll show you guys one other thing. Give me a moment. <laughs> I'll put it on pause for a minute here. I really can't do that. I wish I could. Mm -hmm. Believe me, this is worth it. I think it is anyway. Uh, I got this. I saw it on eBay and I made the guy an offer and it came and it's just you know all this I could take care of that's nothing if you ever see spots like that get some ve vegetable oil on a brush they'll go right away and they'll stay away that's just mildew but that was a bad sign. I was hoping that it would be in better shape. It is in good cosmetic condition, but it, it will never operate. The gears under here, one set is missing. And uh, the thing's just fouled up. I mean, whoever had it did not take care of it. I did not get the, the box for it with it. So... She's going back. <clears throat> I would, you know, I wanted to put it on the layout because that thing, I had one before and it looks great. I mean, it's an impressive piece. But I should know better for the price that I got it for. I offered the guy, uh, 250 and free shipping and he bought it he uh, took it now I know why so uh, but on eBay you know you can return anything as the buyer you never will lose as the seller you will lose but as the buyer you will not lose they will refund you so don't overdo the privilege and screw the sellers over I've had guys return like F3s to me with uh, power trucks and motors missing, replaced with a dummy truck. I tried to file a case with eBay, and it doesn't matter what you do. The seller always wins. I mean, the buyer always wins. So, that's the reason I don't sell today. Except to a few private people around because uh, it's just not a fair game on there so I mean when you get an F3 and somebody just takes the motor and the power truck out of it and sends it back to you you know they've, they've got almost a hundred bucks out of you beat you to death mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll get some primer shot on these intermodal cars. I have the wheel sets for these. And it's about high time I get them done. So once again, this is Kenny at Lionel for Less. 
and that is 